What's up, the Giant Squad? And happy Wednesday, the Giant Squad. That is right. And today, I'm coming to you today with my last year in 2023 of Wonderful World of Wrestling Wednesdays. That's right, the John Squad. So let's do this. Shall we, John Squad? So I usually do Monday Night Raw talk, but that did not happen on Monday because they recapped WWE Monday Night Raw from 2022. So I said, how about this? How about we talk about WWE Friday Night Smackdown that happened this, uh, over this past Friday on Smackdown before Christmas that happened. So I'll say, let's just do that. So anyway, so let's do Friday Night Smackdown and AEW Rampage. Let's do those two together. So here we go. So Smackdown kicked off on Friday with the bloodline addressing Kevin Owens, John Cena ahead of their match next week. Well, this Friday, coming up this Friday. That's that's what kicked off SmackDown. So we had the Usos. The Usos defending their, um... Did it be on the Speed Tag Team Championships against Hit Row, Hit Row? And the Usos beat Hit Row to retain the Did it be on the Speed Tag Team titles. I do that for the Usos. Then, Exili beats Emma in the gauntlet, uh, gaunt, gauntlet match. And next up is Tegan Knox. That she came up next was Tegan Knox after that. Then, Exili beats Tegan Knox in a gauntlet match. Next up is Raquel Rodriguez. That came next after that. Then, Raquel Rodriguez beats uh, Exili in a gauntlet match. And then came was Liv Morgan. And Raquel Rodriguez beats Liv Morgan in a gauntlet match. So, ne next up in the gauntlet match was Sonya Deville. And Raquel Arregas beats Sonya Deville in a gauntlet match. Ronda Rousey then comes out after the match and says Raquel must also defeat Shayna Baszler. So Raquel beats Shayna and will face Ronda for the SmackDown Women's Championship title next week. Then we have Bray Wyatt had a promo. And Bray Wyatt says that LA Knight owes him an apology. And that nobody was listening to him when he repeatedly said he was an Uncle Howdy. Bray loses his train and and thought and attacks a cameraman. Wow, Bray Wyatt was out of my life. This is like a great storyline with Ellie Knight and Bray Wyatt. I have to admit that. Then we have Rey Mysterio versus Angel Garza, and Rey Mysterio beats Angel Garza. Since Scarlet calls Riddick Moss a fool, so Emma slaps. Sl 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 slaps her, and Karen Cross says Emma has no idea what she has done. Because Emma and Emma and Reddick Moss are dating, right? So it should have been me on this teaser. <laughs> so Emma and Reddick Moss, Mad Cat Moss, are dating. So that's why. So Mad Cat Moss are dating. So that's why. So you know, what I mean, you can get the point right there. So that's why. Uh, that, that's why Emma slapped. Sla Emma slaps her, so that's why because she calls Riddick Moss a fool, or Mad Cat Moss, or Riddick Moss. So, so that's what happens there. So then, next week, for this coming up on Friday, for this week on SmackDown, for two, at the the last of 2022 of SmackDown, we have Lacey Evans reports of reports to duty, Ronda Rousey versus Raquel Rodriguez for the SmackDown Women's Title. Sheamus vs. Solo Sioko, John Cena, Kevin Owens vs. Roman Reigns, and Zami Zayn. I believe that's when the bloodline are going to turn on Zami Zayn. Then we had the main event, which Braun Strowman and Ricochet beat a pyramid of Miracle on, on 34th Street fight. The New Day dressed as Nutcrackers and a, and a ballerina made a cameo in the match. So that was pretty funny right there. So then on AEW Rampage, Rampage kicked off with the 30 that. 3003 Kings Christmas Battle Royal and top play in AR Fox win the 3003 Kings Christmas Battle Royale. And then we had Eddie Kingston and Ortiz. So Eddie Kingston and Ortiz calls out the House of Black and challenges them. Malachi Black accepts and warns Kings that if he can trust a friend that has been influenced by him. Jay, and then we had Jay Cargill versus Vernixon and Jay Cargill. Beats Vernixum for Tixum. I don't know how to pronounce that name. So then we hit on AEW this Wednesday, tonight on Wednesday, we have Samoa Joe vs. Warlord for the TNT title set for AEW New Year's Smash. Then we have Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett beat Anthony Bowens and Billy Gunn on AEW Rampage from Friday. And then, then there's also another match that's set for, um, um, uh, AEW's New Year Smash. We have we have Kyle Costello and John Moxley versus Top Flight. That's gonna be a good match. 
Then AEW gives us a tease of a new look coming soon, and it, it's like AEW Dynamite Live in Jeremy Ports, so that's why it's going to be something after that. So they give us a brand new look on what's happening with AEW Wrestling. That's why. So that's why. So that's going to do it here for Wonderful World of Wrestling Wednesdays. Don't forget, January 2nd. The new year of Raw 2023. We're going to have Austin Theory versus Seth freaking Rollins for the United States Championship. And Austin Theory putting his, put his belt line against Seth Rollins. And that's going to do it here for One Up for World of Wrestling Wednesdays. Once again, the John Squad. I hope you all have a fantastic new year. Happy and safe, happy, healthy new year. Once again, please like this video. Leave your comments down below. Can't wait to get back on Monday Night Raw for you guys. And subscribe for more next week. So once again, please like this video. Leave your comments down below. And subscribe for more. Peace out the John Squad. God bless. Happy and healthy. Safe New Year. Peace. Peace.